right here we go with a stop well a J Powers 50 millimeter T45 we've got 5000 kV Turnergy 2610 motor in her standard Turnergy we've got a 50 amp Hobby King uh, 4S capable ESC the fan unit is the six blade Hoy uh, fan 50 millimeter sold by Hobby King for I think it's about five dollars so it's it's a cheap setup so you're talking about twenty dollars or so for the for the motor and the fan unit and then we've got a 1600 4s um, battery and a 1500 um, 3s battery or no sorry an 1800 3s battery and what I'm going to illustrate now is the difference and show that for a cheap outlet outlay you can actually create quite a powerful machine so first of all that's one modification is the sprung catch to hold the uh, canopy in that's uh, that's a real good investment stops them flyaways I've had those right here we go so let's connect up the um, the 3s there we go so as you can see I've hollowed out the um, hollowed out the uh, battery area a bit a couple of cocktail sticks there to keep the keep the deans away from the uh, elevator servo arm so close up and right switch on the digital scale you're on low battery come on go so there we go we've got an all up weight of basically about 490 495 grams with the about, about 490 it, it, it's hovering around because obviously I can't keep it say 500 let's call it 500 okay so now we're going to put the motor on and give her the gun. Give it a gun. So we, we got we got quite a various it's obviously I can't hold the um, the model perfectly straight so we're getting about 940 950 grams so I got more than the one to one there yeah and that's on a 3s okay let's up to a uh, a 4s let's see what we get let's go up to a 4s is in Go on. Right, she's she's done right so let's do the weight again yeah we've got uh, about five five fifty five sixty grams so let's give her the gun We've got 1280, 1290 uh, grams on the uh, on the scale there. So I think that's pretty conclusive. But you don't really need to spend a lot on these bloody things. You can hot these up 
for quite a small amount of money. The only thing is going my way is obviously the run time is not, not so fantastic. But um, I've shown that uh, I can get about three minutes run time out, out of this with four minutes if, if you throttle manage. So at the speed it's doing and the fun you get, I think it's worth it. $30 upgrade? It's got to be worth it, isn't it? Hey?